Add the high quality and warmth of Kimberly Bay bifold solid wood doors to your home. The first step is to measure your opening. As a general rule, the height of your door should equal the height of your opening minus 1.25 inches to allow space for the top track and bottom bracket. For example, an 80 inch opening would require a 78.75 inch door. The width of the door should equal the width of the opening minus 5 16th of an inch. So for example, a 24 inch opening would require a 23 and 11 16th inch door. Your doors are labeled by the size of the opening. So in our example, you would need an 80 inch door by 24 inch door. Also note that one bifold door has two panels. So in our example, each panel folds out to make one 24 inch door. Most bifold doors include the following hardware. One plastic pivot guide, one top track, four round top screws, one bottom bracket, three flat top screws, one knurled hinge pin with plastic sleeve, two plastic top pivots, one handle, two long screws, and one door liner. You will also need the following tools. Measuring tape, Phillips screwdriver, pencil, drill with a 3 16th inch bit, hammer, safety glasses, and finishing supplies if needed. Mark the center of the top jam at each side of the opening and center point. You will use these marks to align the top track. Be sure the plastic pivot guide has been inserted with its scooped surface towards the solid flat side of the top track before mounting. Mount the top track in the center of the top jam where you have marked using flat head screws. Be sure to center the track in the opening. Then use a screwdriver to loosen the screw in the sliding hinge bracket set. Mount the bottom bracket to the wall jam using two round head screws so the center of the serrated hole is aligned vertically with the center of the top track. Be sure the bracket is seated firmly to the floor, then fix it using one long screw. Use this screw for wood flooring only. Press down into the carpet if necessary. Screw the metal knurled hinge pin fully into its plastic sleeve first to prevent damaging the sleeve when tapping with the hammer. Then, insert the entire set into the lower socket of the floor panel, tapping lightly with a hammer to fully seat. Once seated, back out the pin approximately one quarter inch. Now insert the two plastic top pivots and tap in lightly to fully seat. Install the doors pushing upright to align while inserting the plastic top pivots. One into the sliding hinge bracket hole in the top track and the other at the plastic pivot guide at the track. Then seat the bottom knurled hinge pin set into the serrated slot of the bottom bracket. Square up the doors in the opening and tighten the set screw on the sliding hinge bracket in the top track to fix the door position. Test close the doors to make sure they operate smoothly. The doors should have equal space on all sides. To adjust for height, lift the door from the bottom bracket and rotate the knurled hinge pin clockwise to raise the door and counterclockwise to lower it. Install the pull handle by drilling a 3 16th inch hole in the center of the guide door. Insert a long screw from the back and fasten the knob. The door aligner is used only when combining two sets of bifolds. It attaches with two round top screws on the back of the guide doors. We hope you enjoy your beautiful new doors.